people of YouTube. I, I don't know why I just said that, but hey everyone, this is Endgame Phones here, doing another toy review. And this time, we are doing a review on the Ultra 500 series, Seagors. <laughs> So, to start off with this guy's history, he was first seen in the show Ultraman Jack, and he was really one of the only monsters to have a two-part episode. Um, so, in the episode, there were actually two monsters, uh, him and another monster that looked kind of like him, except there was a she, and her name was Seamons, except the only difference is, is like, Seamons uh, walked on four feet and had a smaller horn. And so, basically with the, his history, um, so Simons was getting attacked by the Mac team, I think. I'm not really too sure. It's, it's like a G-Force Ultraman thing. Psh, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, so Simons is getting attacked, uh, by the Mac team. And so, Simons calls out into the ocean for Sigurus. And so together, they create a tidal wave which is big enough to draw the attention of Ultraman Jack, and he ends up stopping the tidal wave, but can't defeat Simons because, uh, you know, he used up all his energy to stop the tidal wave from, you know, destroying everything. And so, I believe what happens next is, like, uh, Simons is getting attacked again, Sigurus comes in, and together, they actually both create a tornado, which is something you don't ever see in, in the Ultraman Jack. Uh, I mean, not old, in a, in the Kaiju universe, you never really see a tornado happen. So then Ultraman Jack comes in and fights Sigurus and Seamons, and in the end, they Seamons and Sigurus basically just go back into the ocean. Yeah. So, that's it for his history, so let's move on to the detail of this guy. Let me fix my camera, there we go. So, the detail on this guy, absolutely fantastic. I mean, for this small of a figure, it packs a punch in detail, detail-wise. Got some scratches on the chest, really nice. Uh, this back looks really nice. Really like this head. Face looks really nicely detailed. Although, I do kind of wish they had an open mouth. Oh well, what you gonna do? Psst. So the eyes, really nicely detailed. Well, tusks, I think they are called, but really nicely detailed. And I do notice that there is some paint. I don't know if that's supposed to be there, but oh well. Uh, the arms, really nicely detailed. Uh, fingernails, really nicely done. Feet, really nicely detailed. Uh, let's just say... Uh, China. I think it says, like, got a little stick right there. And some Japanese mumbo jumbo. Alright, so, uh, yeah, detail on this guy is really good. It's really accurate to the suit. Extremely accurate. Actually, in my opinion, it's actually a lot more accurate than the original Bandai. Now focus! 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 There we go. All right, so let's move on to articulation. Oh, hold on, there we go. So let's move on to articulation. No articulation in the head. Arms rotate 360 degrees. The waist can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, tail. And rotate 360. So on the all you get one, two, three, four points of articulation. No articulation in the legs or the head. Oh well. Alright, so let's move on to 
Sizing. Size comparisons. Let me fix my camera. Oh, yeah, how it says. Bear with me. Psst. Bear with me. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I fixed it. All right, so sizing him up. Let's size him up with a uh, small figure. Uh, let's deal. Final good gear, got Dole 2004. And as you can obviously see, Seagorus just towers over him, which would not be accurate. It's got to be like that. Yeah. Uh, next, let's size him up with a Shua Godzilla. Mr. 75 Godzilla. Or is he the 75? He's actually the Furry Godzilla. And if you, as you can obviously see, uh, Godzilla towers over him, which kind of is accurate, I think. Don't know. Oh. Hold on. And just for fun, let's just size him up with Bandai Mudo. Uh. And I guess this works. I guess. I don't know if it does because you know Luna was pretty small in the film. But, oh. And of course the tag. Got a nice picture of Sigurus and Simon. That's Simon to the left and Sigurus to the right. Nice picture of Sigurus. Number 16. Let's see, Tishnya Bar, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know, I believe that says, uh, Ultra 500, uh, some Japanese Mumbo Jumbo, also, it shows you how to work if you have, like, the thing, but, some Japanese Mumbo Jumbo. So, guys, in the end, I think this is a great figure, and for about, maybe five to eight dollars, you're really getting what you're, you know, what you buy. I guess, I guess that you could say. So why rate this guy? I give this guy a 10 out of 10. And you're probably thinking, why for something like this? Well, it's really accurate in detail. It's super accurate in detail. That's why I give it a 10 out of 10. So yeah guys, that is it for this review. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys for watching. This is Gay Films. Signing out. Request a review, by the way. Um, I'll put a playlist in the description below to show what I've already reviewed. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. This is Gay Films. Signing out. Goodbye.